Now to the war in Ukraine, where officials today issued a new plea to the West for heavy weapons. They say up to 200 Ukrainian soldiers are being killed every day, and Russian forces are quickly grabbing territory along the strategically important Black Sea coast. CBS's Chris Livesay is there. It's here on the Black Sea coast where Ukraine is bracing for an amphibious Russian assault. You could call this Overwatch position a tripwire, one of the first lines of defense between the Russian military and the city of Odessa, protected in part by American firepower. The U.S. has supplied Ukraine with more than 6,500 javelins like this one. They've been a game changer, striking 99% of their targets, says this soldier, codenamed Joker. But they're designed to take out tanks, not the Russian fleet. To do that, Ukraine is counting on advanced long-range missile systems on their way from the U.S. Without them, coastal cities like Nikolaev are sitting ducks, says Mayor Oleksandr Senkevich, who rushes us below a children's hospital during an air raid. They want to kill Ukrainians as much, as many as they can. Are you worried that this city could become the next Mariupol? Uh, I hope not. Mariupol, now notorious for its fierce resistance, eventually fell into Russian hands. And with it, three foreign fighters, two from Britain, one from Morocco, now sentenced to death by firing squad in a Russian court. A provocation that's destined to backfire, says a former U.S. Army medic and friend to one of the British prisoners. I think it will invigorate people more than anything. Now, those soldiers can appeal their death sentence in what's widely seen as a sham trial. Meanwhile, Ukraine says it's now losing up to 200 of its soldiers every day, desperately awaiting the arrival of that advanced weaponry from the United States that's still weeks away. Nora. Chris Livesay, thank you.